up through some of what we're looking at here. Absolutely. So what we want to make sure is that the, the sales are third generation. That means we've expanded them twice. This is the general consensus around the world. Uh, we also want to see the bioavailability. Because if you expand them too many times... They lose potential. They lose potential. Exactly. A lot of them become non-functional, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. So third generation is absolutely perfect. Absolutely. Saying. And then we, we take a look at the bioavailability. If you see here, it's a 94.52%. 94. So it's pretty high, almost uh, mid-90s. Mid mm -hmm. uh, this is, this is where, where we talk about that when you preserve them and you cryopreserve them, um, you lose about half of them. So when we tell you you're getting X amount of cells, we're really close because we're, all, we're always going to get a little, uh, uh, up to 10% more cells than, than what the label says because of it. Right, okay. And then here is where you find out what type of cells you're working with. And you're, you're, and you're trying to find the specific markers that make them stem cells. So when you, when you find CD73, uh, CD90, CD105, you're seeing that, that, that they're stem cells. This is, this is the nature of the cells that we're getting. Yeah, those are the markers, different markers for types of stem cells. And then you get the, the uh, viral analysis and also, and also the bacteriological analysis. So uh, this is the way we make, and, and this is the way we make sure that what you're getting is a safe product. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's good. 